Hey guys, how's it going? I hope everybody's doing really good. Uh, today we're going to take a close look at these two uh, new Groon Versatas. Okay, these were purchased last week in Nashville, Tennessee at Groon Guitars by me and my neighbor. Uh, we was on vacation there and we decided to buy these guitars. It was the first day they were on available for purchase so we got really lucky and uh, George sold us these guitars himself personally he played them for us and it was a really fun time okay so let's get right into it the first one is this one's my neighbors here and the one in the back belongs to me these are cedar tops uh, this one has a rosewood fretboard and bridge uh, one interesting thing about these guitars the truss rod goes all the way to the end both both ends so you don't have to worry about getting those you know funky humps that usually happen on guitars over time where the where the neck meets the body there's usually issues with all the guitars there so it's a great design that way the sound hole is up here which is really cool they have a lot of bass and uh, really rich sounding really even uh, I really love the sound of both of these uh, the other thing this one here has uh, this is Indian rosewood really beautiful stuff and as you can see the pores are not filled in this is sealed but it's still you know unfilled which I think allows for a lot more vibration and movement nice figuring on the sides too uh, Indian rosewoods really good it has nice sound qualities these have cedar tops uh, and the only they only have uh, two bars for bracing you have a bass and a treble bar that go like this and uh, that's all you need and that allows the top to really vibrate a lot I mean these things feel like they're alive when you play them honestly uh, this one's not electrified the one in the back is not by choice it was just the way it came uh, I don't know if you guys can see but there is a little difference in the thickness on these this one's a little bit thicker than the one in the back um, we'll get to that one in a second. They have, uh, these, uh, open gear style tuners. They're not marked or anything, but they work really nice. Nice mahogany neck, one piece, no, no scarf joints or anything like that. And, and the string pull is really nice. They got that nice. The string spacing is quite different too. It's it's really open in between the strings uh, not in a bad way you but you really notice how nice it is to play actually and the playability is great you can pl you can play anything on this that you could play on an electric guitar honestly it feels a lot like an electric guitar the neck profiles are kind of similar to like a Strat or something you know they're they're thin and they're really fast playing uh, just a great all-around design and a great sound uh, all right so let's check this one out in the back real quick I'm just gonna slide this one over here so this one again this has a cedar top uh, really pretty stuff honestly uh, this is equipped with LR bags electronics as a volume and a tone there and you plug into the end pin uh, it sounds really nice plugged in I'm gonna do a video of that too um, this has an ebony board and bridge like I said a cedar top the bindings a little thinner on this one compared to that one too now this one when I bought this, uh, he said it was the first one that they had made with this wood configuration. So 
I got really lucky there. I wanted to point this out too. This one in the back is number 15 and this one is number 21. And I played 14. I could have bought that one the same day I bought this one, but I decided to go with this one instead. We played the prototype. We played number 7, which was a Adirondack spruce top. That was a really nice sounding one as well. Um, so, like I said, it's equipped with LR bags. I wanted to show you the control cavity access you know to the inside these are allen bolts you take those four allen bolts out and you can unhook the uh you know the jack and this will come right out you can stick your hand and your whole arm right up inside the guitar to repair it if you need to the other one's already cut out and has the four allen bolts in it but it doesn't have electronics in it as of now but if he decides to put them in it's all ready to go. Uh, so this is Nicaraguan rosewood. I'd never seen any before in my life. It's really pretty stuff. As you can see, I mean, it's just really pretty. Same on the sides. It's all one piece. Uh, just a cool, really unique thing. I wasn't so sure about the look of it at first, but when I played it, that changed the whole thing. It sounds really nice. Uh, it's got some pretty nice figuring on the headstock, too, even. You know, again, it's got uh, it's a mahogany neck, same tuners, and the same heavy-duty furniture bolts that hold your neck on. Uh, you know, the great thing about it, as a repair guy myself, you know, if you have to refret this guitar, that's going to make it so much nicer to take the neck off it. Then you can put it in a press if you want to, and you don't have the body hook to it. It's just a lot easier to work on. And uh, all in all, the fit and finish and quality on these are really really exceptional i mean the frets feel good the fret ends feel good um the truss rod access is up here almost like an you know the gibson style uh they're just an amazing sounding guitar and they're really different um it's had it's had to compare it to another acoustic guitar uh, it's just not the same. They sound a little different, and uh, the response is really amazing. They're very articulate and very balanced across the across all the strings. It's it's really amazing. They have a nice bass response to them too, which surprised me. You know, when I first played it, and they're super loud for that body thickness which is really thin i mean you know that's probably like maybe four inches thick or something like that which makes it super comfortable to play that was the first thing i noticed is is uh how comfortable it was sitting standing in any position it really doesn't feel like a a huge dreadnought you know Sometimes a dreadnought can feel like you're holding a suitcase with a neck on it, you know. These don't feel like that. It really feels more like an electric guitar than it does an acoustic guitar. That's just my opinion, and I've only owned this for a few days now. Uh, we bought them last week, like I said, but we had to wait and have them shipped home. So uh, it was a great experience, and... Uh, he really gave us a nice demonstration on these guitars as well and explained all the uh, sort of upgrades that he's made to the design flaws that have been going on for years and years with other makers. You know, he's seen all these things happen and had his guys repair these same things over and over. And, uh, you know, he wanted to improve on it. And that's what he told us. 
and he really believes that there's other sounds out there to be made from an acoustic guitar and I think he's nailed it right here because these sound a lot different uh, they're they're really responsive like I said this one's a little brighter than the other one but they're they're similar in how they react to your pick attack and and that sort of thing uh, all in all I mean, 10 out of 10. That just, you know, it just feels like a really expensive, well-built guitar when you pick it up. And the sound is unbelievable. It really is. And uh, they're just a blast to play. I couldn't put it down. I, I played this one here the other night. I was up till almost midnight playing. I played about three hours on it right, right straight ahead. Uh, you know, it helps to play them and get them broke in too. So, well, guys, I just wanted to give you a close up of these and uh, show you what they're up to out there. He just started his own guitar uh, company. You know, he has a he has a pretty renowned luthier watching over this operation. I think he used to work for Martin. Uh, I think his first name might be Jay. I really can't remember 100%, but, it, you know, his company's in good hands, obviously, because they're putting out some really high-quality stuff here. Uh, we were really fortunate, like I said, to get in on this on day one. So we're really proud to, to uh, own them, and these are going to get played for a lot of years. There's no question. And like I said, if anything goes wrong, it's, it's just so simple to fix. You know, the bracing is just two, two bars. Like I said, a bass and a treble and, of course, a bridge pad. But, you know, it's just simple. And uh, they, they sound, the tops sound like a drum when you tap on them. It's, it's really different. And uh, all in all, I'm really really impressed and uh 100% satisfied with the purchase all all the way around and my neighbor is too uh we're both really excited to to start breaking these in and see what they really sound like after we play them for a couple weeks you know it's good to bang on them and and uh play them hard that that helps at first so anyway Thanks for checking it out, guys. I hope this helps. If you're searching for a new acoustic, something a little different, these would make a great stage guitar, too. Uh, they don't feed back at, that bad at all. So uh, I had my this one hooked to an amp last night, and I was playing pretty loud with it, and no issues whatsoever. I mean, if you kneel down in front of the speaker, yeah, it's probably going to howl, but... You know, as far as being a guitar chord length away from it, I didn't have any problems at all. So, well, thanks again for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope some of you guys uh, try some of these out sometime if you get a chance. And uh, you guys will see what I'm talking about. It's just a really different thing. And it's in a good way. Like I said, they have a unique sound to them and... They're just really, really fun to play and easy to play. All right, guys, we'll hang in there and we'll see you soon. I'm going to do another video here soon. I'll plug this one in and show you what, what one of these sounds like uh, electrified. I think you'll enjoy that as well. Okie doke. Be good. See you soon.